Hello everyone and welcome back to the Weekend Soft Roading channel. And today we're going to be talking about my DIY modular two-tire inflation and deflation system. So today I'll, I'll walk through the parts I've used, how they connect up and how it works. And hopefully you can you know create your own. And uh, all the parts are going to be down in the description below. So if you do want to follow along or do a build similar to this, everything's going to be linked down below. And uh, we'll get started now. So the first thing I want to talk about is going to be the manifold itself. And this is the heart of the system. And this is where everything connects up to. And this is where you can actually see the pressure, uh, all the fittings, and then uh, all the fittings to fit on the air compressor itself. So we'll talk about this and, and how I built this from the top to the bottom here. So the first thing you see is going to be this dial. It's a Measurement Liquid Field Dial. Uh, I chose this because you could either do a digital dial, which is a little bit over my budget. So I chose this one. This one's a little bit cheaper and a little bit uh, and a little bit accurate as well. It's liquid filled, so when there's air going into it, it's not gonna bounce around and, and you know throw off some readings. However, you still have to turn off your air compressor to get a pinpoint accurate uh, reading of the uh, of of what your pressure is. So it only goes up to 60 because I don't need it to go that high. And then below that is the actual manifold itself. It's a four-way hexagon manifold. And as you can see here, two fittings on each side. This one is a male to female connector uh, into the manifold. Uh, and then the, the coupler actually goes into here. And it's again, it's just a regular coupler. So you just pull the collar back and put the uh, coupler from the hose in. And most air systems I've seen have all the hoses connected up to this. I didn't want that. I want it to be modular. So if a hose breaks or if you need to replace something, everything is easily replaceable. And you can just take these fittings off and replace them with other ones as, as needed. So there, two couplings, one for the left, one for the right. And then, uh, and then again, Teflon tape for all the fittings. Just make sure when you're putting on the Teflon tape, that you're putting it uh, in the direction of the thread so when you're putting it in it doesn't unwind and you don't want that to happen because you want everything to be airtight so moving down uh, you see a ball valve so this will just let air in or out so for example if i plug these two hoses in but no air compressor i could deflate my tires uh, or if i want to inflate i just plug in my my compressor and then i can inflate my tires so just a ball valve uh, this is in the closed position right now, and then if we put it down like this, that is the open position. And then again, I can control the airflow. The last thing is just another coupler at the very bottom. This will just hook up to my compressor, which we'll be talking about as well, because I did customize it. Uh, and that is all for this manifold. Again, I'll, I'll put it down here so you get a pic better picture of what it looks like. But again, all the parts are going to be down in the description below uh, for you to review. So the next item I want to talk about are going to be the hoses itself. So let me move this aside and I'm going to grab one of the hoses. And it's, it's pretty straightforward uh, in terms of hoses. I did a lot of research of what I needed to find. Um, and Flexzilla was the one that was most used. It's the most durable, it's the most lightweight, and it's the most flexible. As you can see here, it's all bundled up, uh, ready to be put in my bag or ready to be taken out. So I'll talk about all the fittings that I've used. So the hose itself comes with its own fitting. It's a, a quarter inch fitting and everything else, uh, every, everything in this build is quarter inch. I wanted to make it as small and compact as possible. Uh, as you can see here, it's again, it's bundled up nicely. But uh, so this, this came with the hose is fitting here that you see this plastic part uh, that runs through here and then make sure it doesn't kink at the end. That comes with it. However, I did need to buy another pair since I'm doing two hoses and you'll be able to see that here back here. So the same the same style fittings here. So again, on the hose, just another coupler to attach to the actual air. And I'll show you how that looks like. So you just you know pop it in and now it's secure. And then you just move it out or move it around and then uncouple it. You just pull the collar back and you're good to go. So that is just how you attach it to the actual manifold. And I got this uh, air chuck here, the Haltech air chuck. And again, doing my research, I found that this one would be the best. And the reason for that is it really grabs onto your tire, uh, your your tire, and then it won't, it won't let go. So once it's, this is in the open position right now, 
as you can see there are some teeth or these metal things that grab onto your tire chuck uh, once they grab on by closing it up they're not going to go anywhere and it's a very secure seal so you're not going to you know see any air coming out but what i do like about this as well is if let's say for example i plug this one uh, inside the manifold and then uh, i just let, plug that one up air is not going to come out and the reason for that is because this air chuck is a closed system meaning that if it's a, if it's not locked on to a tire chuck it's not going to release any air out uh, until you again lock it onto a chuck if you want to put air in but that's what i liked about it and you know, again doing my research it's the most durable and most reliable part uh, in this so very very straightforward again so i got a strap uh, a flexzilla hose a coupler Haltech uh, coupler or tire chuck and then these uh, flexzilla uh, hose fittings that are that are going to be you know easily to put on to these to these hoses here so th and that's for both of them so both of them are going to be the same i'll show you the other one here too another one Haltech with some teflon tape and then uh, the the actual coupler itself here in the back so again very modular so i could just use one of this uh, or use both of them for a two tire inflator and it'll be you know pretty straightforward and easy to go so the last piece of this system is going to be the compressor itself and if you've watched my previous video i had a uh, a cheap or budget you know, two cylinder air pump which is still good but i wanted something more uh, more better with more airflow so i went with the viair 88p i did customize it so this did come with a longer hose but i trimmed it down to accommodate my build and i'll walk you through what I've done to this because you know you don't usually see these fittings here uh, around anyways so the first thing is that this is just a regular coupler again that will connect up to uh, the actual manifold that we built as you can see there it's connected up uh, or you could directly plug this into one of the hoses uh, you could directly plug this into one of the hoses uh, if you need to here as well so for example right here you just connect it up and you can run that through uh, to your tire if need be but again this is a two tire and system so obviously you're going to want to use the air fold so the the neat thing about this system is that since these couplers if they're if not coupled to anything they're closed meaning that they're not going to let any air out so what happened was when i first built this uh, i didn't have these fittings and i over pressurized my air compressor uh, luckily it was only up to 100 psi not the max 120 but to mitigate that and to add a little bit of safety i i put in this valve that will blow off or open once it reaches 70 psi and this is a cool thing because if if you forget to you know if you forget to release this if you forget to open this ball valve uh, or if you just if it's on by accident when you put it onto your car you know you don't want this to over pressurize and break your compressor so this little this little item here will hopefully save uh, that from happening because I set it to 70 psi. So once 70 psi opens up or once it pressurizes up to 70 psi, then this valve will open to release that pressure out and then close back down at 60 psi. Because I'm, I'm not going any anywhere extreme or any extreme pressure. So that is something that um, you know I wanted to build up. My, uh, my other idea was to build a presser switch uh, specifically for this compressor, but I didn't find any videos. So this is the easiest way I found to just make sure it doesn't over pressurize. And so there's like a safety valve uh, to you know mitigate anything from exploding. Uh, so once it's all connected up and let's say for example, you know, I connected up to my, uh, to my manifold here and then I forgot to open, I forget to open the, the ball valve you know i've done that this one over pressurize this will activate it'll, uh, it'll switch on and then it'll release all that pressure which is very good in terms of uh you know doing this system and it's a safety it's for safety as well so that is something that i've built uh, and then again we'll now we'll, we'll take it outside and then we'll put it into my car so you can all see you know how this all operates and how it works how everything fits in but hopefully this part of the video helps out in, in you know building uh, your own dedicated two two tire or four tire inflation system and again you can upgrade this to a four tire inflation system you just need to get uh, additional fittings 
make sure that everything fits uh, within your, your within your specs. Because again, I'm driving a 2004 Honda CRV, so the wheelbase is not that big uh, compared to like you know Jeeps or uh, Toyota Tacomas or anything like that. But hopefully this helps. We'll take it outside and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're now we're outside. As you can see, everything fits in this bag. All the pipes, the air compressor, and my gauge. Now we're just gonna set everything up. Everything, everything fits very nicely and bundled up. Now that we got everything hooked up, as you can see, the pressure is about 37 and you could release the air out using the ball valve that we included here. So you can see here. All right, we'll bring the pressure down a bit. It went down. It's pretty fast actually. So you could, uh, if you do a four tire deflation system or inflation system, you can air down your tires real fast. Let's test out our safety valve, as you can see. And it works. Now we have everything hooked up. So we got the compressor. We got the tires, and we're gonna inflate this up to uh, 35 PSI. That looks good. And I'm just gonna disconnect everything. And everything packed away neatly back in the bag. And that is the conclusion of this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Again, all the parts are going to be linked down below. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Comment down below if you liked it, like this video. And I'll be doing more content, so subscribe. Talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day.